I want you to recall the last meeting when you felt like, I'm never getting out of here. You obviously want your meetings to be short and productive, but somebody forgets to create an agenda, shows up late, and next thing you know, you're feeling like you're being robbed of your time. The only resource you cannot reclaim. And this is exactly the reason why today we're covering 10 meeting hacks that will help you reclaim that time and turn you into a meeting god. Let's dive in. Tip number one, joining the next meeting automatically. So remember this time when you knew that you had a meeting coming up and you had just enough time to finish that one last email. But guess what? You probably ran five or 10 minutes late because it's so easy to get carried away or to pick up a few more emails on the go. Well, there's an easy fix for that. To make this workflow possible, we're going to download the Chrome extension called Bardeen and you can find the link to this specific automation in the description of this video. The automation is called join next meeting a minute before it starts. You can click on try it and here you'll need to enable the automation just like this. And next thing you know, a minute before your meeting is to start, here we go, boom, there it is. The camera is going to be turned off and you'll be unmuted. You can customize those settings in Zoom directly. And the reason this meeting was launched is because right now is exactly one minute before it is to start. So the next time you have an event on your calendar, it's going to pop up a meeting from 30 plus platforms automatically so that there's no chance you can miss it. So congratulations, you are on time. But what about the rest of the people? They have not seen this video yet. And the last thing you want to do is to wait for them for another five minutes to show up. Hence, here's another little tip. The automation is called send email to all event participants about you waiting in the meeting room. We're going to click on try it. And from here, watch the magic happen. Boom, and just like this, an email was sent to the attendees of the current meeting saying, hey, I'm waiting in the meeting room. Here is the event link. Let's click on it to view it in Gmail just like this. You can do this with a simple shortcut and even send notifications in Slack or via text. Tip number three is to get a meeting scheduling app. If your calendar looks anything like this, and if you want to schedule a call with somebody as busy as you are, it's going to be a torture going back and forth. Instead, you can send a simple meeting scheduling link that will allow the person on the other side to see all of the available slots and they can match it against their schedule and find the optimal times. And I know some things that are a common sense and they're popular are not always common practice. So if you do not have one yet, it will save you a lot of time. Here is how I use it. I use my meeting link in a combination with a text expander tool. I use Alfred. So if I'm going back and forth with somebody and if I'm ready to schedule a call, I have a little text expansion snippet. It's dot time and says, hey, would any of these times work? Alternatively, please feel free to send me a scheduling link if it's easier. These times I'm going to embed a link in there, click on the link, and I have different types of links. I have the 15 minute link, the 30 minute link, and the one hour link. I'm going to send it depending on the type of person I'm talking to. So then I'm going to hit B30, and then here's my 30 minute link. I'm going to hit enter, and just like this, I can shoot off the link with a couple of shortcuts. And tools like Calendly already integrate with your favorite apps, for example, I have a Zoom meeting created automatically. You can use the WebEx alternative or Google Meet. And there is a Chrome extension. So let's go back to our calendar and try to schedule another meeting. Let's call it demo two. And here I have an extra button edit that says make it a Zoom meeting. I'm just going to click on one button. And just like this, the new meeting link was created. And if I was to go to Zoom, Here we have my upcoming meetings. This event is showing up here. Tip number four is getting your meeting recordings uploaded to Google Drive or Dropbox automatically. The odds are that you do not have more space for additional cloud recordings in your Zoom account. Here is how mine looks like, for example. And if you have a Zoom Pro account, you only have five gigabytes of storage, which is not all that much. Everything beyond that is going to be charged extra. Although it does not seem like Zoom is going to start automatically charging you for the extra space based on my personal 
experience and online research, you want to be on the safer side and you want the ability to share cloud recordings all at once in a single folder, say in Google Drive or in Dropbox. This way you're on the safe side and keep the peace of mind. Now let's set it up with a few clicks. And again, we're going to be using Bardeen, the workflow automation tool to make this possible. You'll have the link in the description of the video like before, but this time, instead of just showing you how to enable it and turn it on, I'm going to show you how I would create it from scratch. It's super simple. So there are just two actions. The first one is a trigger action. It's the trigger action with Zoom, and it says when a Zoom cloud recording becomes available. That's our trigger. Let's hit done. And then we're going to add another action. And the other action is with Google Drive. We're going to find the action upload file to Google Drive, then reference that trigger entire value, and then pick the folder into which we want to upload the file. I have one called Zoom Recordings. That's the one. You can automatically share it with meeting participants if you want. In my case, I don't. I'm going to hit done, hit done again, and call it upload Zoom Recordings to Drive. Hit save and activate this automation. You can build automations like this one with a few clicks. And now if we look at my folder, here I have my meeting recordings. Here's one from just an hour ago. And it's that easy. You have all of the data right there. You set it and forget it. So you've gotten all of your meetings on the cloud, but who wants to watch 60 minutes of this? Dude, you're on mute. I can't hear you. So tip number five is to get all of your meetings automatically transcribed. The tool is called Tactic, and it's a Chrome extension with 10 free meetings a month. It's going to transcribe your meetings, then it's going to create highlights with the most important parts of the conversation, automatically labeling action items, questions, and the most important parts. And this way you can condense an hour-long meeting into just a two minute read. How many times have you been on a call and that moment happened? During an interview, a man in just his underwear walked through the background of a woman's live appearance on CNBC's Squawk Box. <laughs> no, I mean this moment. We have dogs of the guest that's joining us. The dogs of the day. We appreciate that. Uh, this is the dog days of summer. People yeah. talk about it that way. We were I'm talking about sorry. this being I'm sorry. That was easily avoidable. Crisp is a desktop app that removes background noise at an amazing level. All right, and here is our initial automation that joins the meeting automatically. It's exactly on the dot. And let's put Crisp to test. Okay, there we have it. Let's enable the camera. And when we click on Crisp, it looks like this is the default input microphone. We can set up the speaker using different apps. Here we have Slack, Zoom, Skype. So let's pick that one. All right. Set up later. Okay, now we can go to preferences. And in the audio section, we're going to choose Crisp speaker. We can also do crisp microphone. So crisp speaker removes somebody else's noise and the microphone removes your noise. So it works backwards. And as we're setting it up, you can see suppress background noise function over there that's built in in Zoom. And I'm going to put it on low because we want to test how good crisp is. So right now we're using crisp as a virtual audio device and crisp uses this microphone at the top that I have to get the sound. So instead of the boom mic, I'm going to pick the computer microphone and it's going to be a bit more accurate this way. Let's record this call, which Recording will be uploaded to Drive. Okay, let's go ahead and capture some of the sound so that we can compare before and after. I'm going to be using QuickTime. So let's do audio recording. And here we can pick a crisp microphone. And again, it's going to be using our computer default microphone. All right, I'm going to hit the record button and let's see what happens. Now let's have a listen. Damn. Nothing, almost nothing. It's incredible. All right, that one was caught. But now comes the real question. Can it handle the ultimate test? Woo, 
so loud. I'm pretty sure it didn't do the job. It's crazy. And now it's time to find out if it passed the test. Mm. Oh, so good. Not this test. All right, here is our file. Let's drag it into Final Cut. And let's see how the sound waves look like. Now comes the real question. All right. Oh, as I was saying before, it's going to be pretty harsh. Woo! So loud. You could not hear the blender. It's ridiculous. I am amazed, genuinely amazed how good this tool is. Let's throw it in. Oh, as I was saying before, it's going to be pretty harsh. Woo! So loud. You can hear the blender. Sure You'll compare it with it this, the with job. the top it's microphone. Crazy. It's ridiculous. All right, let's move it. And then let's go to the end. This is me blending. You cannot hear a thing. Wow. And now it's time to find out if it passed the test. And it obviously did. Honestly, 10 out of 10. This is so good. And frankly, way better than Zoom's native recording. And now because I love you guys, I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to compare it to the Zoom native background noise removal. Let's click on audio. Let's switch back to our regular microphone over here. Okay. And let's see what happens. I'm going to put in high noise suppression and we'll hear it in the cloud recording that means the protein shake goes back let's go for it What do you do when you have to share some important information with meeting participants, but you do not want to create accounts and give them explicit access to all of the data? You can't just send them a link. So here comes another automation. It's called send current page as PDF to the current event participants. Here we have the automation. I'm going to click on pin it to pin this automation. And I'm going to go ahead and navigate to analytics. That's the page I want to share. and. Let's open Bardeen with an option B shortcut. Click on the automation. And at this part, you get to pick the event. It could be a future event, a past event, or the current event that you have in your calendar. This is the event from which the meeting participants' emails will be taken. I'm going to click on the daily check-in and hit run this. A PDF is going to get generated and uploaded to my Google Drive. And that file is going to be shared with the participants of that meeting. And I'm going to navigate to my Google Drive and here's the event that was already shared with the meeting participants. They've received an email that looks like this. If you're in sales, sometimes your calendar gets filled up with many meetings with participants that you do not know much about. Automation number eight will pull up social media profiles of participants of your next meeting. Let's dive in. Let's click on try it. So let's click on the event. And like we did before, we're going to specify the event we want to find the participants for. It can be the current event. And let's click on run this. And it's going to pull up all of the social media profiles I can find based on the emails. Okay, and there we have it. There are the emails. Let's expand. We have the LinkedIn profile. We have the company LinkedIn profile and Twitter profile as well. And let's see how accurate it is. This definitely looks like me. Here we have the company Twitter and the company LinkedIn profile page. And here comes an unusual automation. So what if you have a tool stack that's not very compatible? So you might be using Slack for your text messaging and say Google Meet for your calls. So instead of going to Google Meet, creating a new meeting, copying link, then going to Slack and pasting link to the right person, you can actually do it with a very simple shortcut and hence automation number nine, doing it with a shortcut. Here I have it in front of me. Let's click on try it. Okay, and we can pick the event participants. I can call myself up. Here I am. I'm gonna click on run this. All right, and here is our meeting with tactic extension over there. So we're going to be doing transcription. Now let's go to Slack and see how this looked to the recipient. 
All right, there we have it. It shows under Slack bot because I sent it to myself and I want to get that notification. And the message says, I'm waiting in Google Meet. Here is a link to join. But on your end, it was an option B shortcut and just clicking one button and picking the participant that you want to have the call with. And that brings us down to our final bonus hack number 10. If you use Notion, today you're in luck because this automation is going to create the new Notion page for your upcoming meeting a minute before and it's going to launch it. Similar how we join meetings automatically. You can create the meeting agenda just before the call and even add action items in your existing task databases in Notion so that you do not have to copy it from other note-taking apps to Notion after. And you guessed it, it does not end there. You can duplicate a Notion template for free that has meetings databases, task databases, projects databases, and even automations completely free. Just go down to the description below to download the template for free. And this is it guys. Thank you for watching and enjoy reclaiming your time from boring meetings and automating the manual work. If I've missed any of your favorite tools, make sure to drop them in the comments below. Until next time, cheers. Thank you.